Hello! So this is going to be, um, I don't know, I might make a couple of videos for this uh, kind of topic. Just basically little tips and things that uh, new players, and even some of the, like, I've been playing for a month, but you might not really understand things quite yet. Um, simple things, simple things. Importantly, item levels. Uh, star ratings. What is the star rating? I don't know, I just use 130s. Well, it's 130, it's a max level legendary. Okay, so that needs to end. That needs to end, because um, there's a lot of mistakes a lot of us do. Um, and I get a lot of questions in chat from new players. Uh, do you have any tips for me? I just started, or I've been playing for a couple weeks. The number one tip I've always said since day one, day one, is don't level items out of your zone. How many times do you hear somebody say, hey, I need Malachite. We'll go farm it while I'm in Plankerton. <laughs> Who's done it? I've done it. We've all done it. Everybody's done it. So, there's something that the game doesn't really point out that I think makes things a little useful. If you ever see my stream or listen to me talk about items and things, I never say, oh, it's a 130 or it's a 93. What's a 93? Oh, it's an epic. Um, or it's a 98, regardless. I don't use the power levels as references. I always call things by their star rating. Like a hero is either a 3 star 30, a weapon is a 3 star 30, 4 star 40, 5 star 50. Um, and what that does is it gets everybody that I'm talking to in the mindset of the star rating system. Um, and that has to do with a lot of things. So if we go over to... Okay, so basically this tip that I'm giving right now is uh, for those who are going to accidentally level items, guns, traps, out of their zone. And I'll, I'll explain what that means here in a second. And this, is, uh, this, is, this is a good tip. It's, uh, it's a very frustrating tip. Thing when it happens when you're when you're leveling at low levels and then you make a gun that you really like and you level it up too far and then you can't craft it anymore, then you're forced to try to get taxis and trading and you want to give your your moonbeam crystal whatever crap that you're duplicating right now so you can try to get a 130. Anyways, that stuff needs to go away. Yeah, so if you go over to your items, okay, your crafting items, um, we'll start off with just we'll use ores as an example because that's what everybody always asks for you've got copper which then goes to silver which then goes to malachite which then you get a choice by the way and they need to fix this option in the game but um you can either pick to make your your next level up evolution of your weapon to go shadow shard or you can make it go obsidian okay and then from there if you've picked obsidian the next upgrade is going to be bright core and then if you pick shadow shard the next upgrade is going to be sunbeam now if you notice over to the far right, where it gives the description, it says crafting item sunbeam crystal, and it's got five stars. Okay, you see it? Over there? Over there? And then um, also in the lower right-hand corner of the icon here in your menus, uh, copper, one star, silver, two star, malachite, three star, shadow shard obsidian, four star, five stars. Get it? Okay. Now if we come over to the weapons, let's say uh, I got this out of a storm chest last night, which needs to be recycled, but anyways, it's a five-star item. What does it say below tiny instrument of death in the brackets? Okay, it says sunbeam ranged pistol, sunbeam. Sunbeam, five star, five star. Okay. Um, my my long arm enforcer is a four star 40, level four star 40. It says Shadow Shard. If you come down, uh, my three star right here, three star Deathstalker is a Malachite. Okay. Two star traps uh, is going to require two star materials. Let's see. Does it give me crafting? It doesn't give me the crafting options on this screen. Um, same thing goes down for your mechanical parts. Uh, rusty, simple. I don't have the other ones in my storage, but, um, oh, right here. You got sturdies, you got sleeks, you got efficients. Okay. I have, uh, five stars or six stars, um, for some reason. You can't get these in game, so they're pointless. Anything, anything six star, like these new moonbeams and rainbow crystals and everything that everybody's talking about, uh, they are absolutely worthless. They don't serve a purpose. They were gifted in people's accounts from customer service issues like care packages like, oh, something happened. Let me give you a bunch of stuff, okay? Um, they don't do anything yet. So just keep that in mind. So six-star items are pointless, completely pointless. They have zero value, but yet people are, are using them to trade for one, 130, five-star 50s um, items right now. It's crazy. It's crazy. Totally crazy. Twine is the same thing. Um, powders are the same thing. Star rating, two, three, four, five, six star ratings, okay? Now, how do you figure out where these are from? People are always like, well, I need Malachite. I need this. I need that. I need to find out. Hold on. I need um, what kind of crap? It's twine, but it's um, um, it's Peaky Twine. No, 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 no. When you, if you have a four-star item and you start referring to things as the star rating um, and somebody wants to uh, say, hey, can you make me a bunch of your, your gas traps? And you'll be like, yeah, it's four stars. So then they know to go look at their gas traps or they know what kind of traps or items traps need. So then it's going to be four-star materials. If they give you three-star or five-star, it's pointless pointless because you can't do anything you can't make your four stars with those items so the all the star ratings correlate to your items 
Now, if we go back one last tip on that, this is where it all might dial in for you. Maybe, maybe. When you're playing the game, you progress through the game. You start off in Stonewood, which is the first zone, first level. You go to Plankerton, it's the second zone. Uh, Canny is the third, and Twine is the fourth. One star materials drop everywhere in Stonewood. Two star materials drop everywhere in Plankerton. You see where we're going? Three star materials drop everywhere in Canny. Four star materials drop everywhere in Twine. Now, some of you are going to be like, but you can get five star in Twine, so we can't... Uh, level 100 missions drop five star. You can also get a rare, rare amount in like 94s if you really want to go around it. You're going to be farming. So, um, five stars are really kind of uh, uh, pointless anyways because they get to a power level of 130 if you're using a legendary. It's like 93 or 98 if it's an epic. Um, the husk levels max out at 100. Power level 100 are the highest missions entwined. So um, if you really want to become way overpowered, go for it. But you're going to be farming a little bit more. Every mission in Twine drops four stars. Yes, you can get five stars, but it's five stars for the fifth zone that's not here yet. It's not officially announced, but it, it's coming. And there will be a sixth zone also. Um, I already have some, some theories on what they're going to be, but that's a different topic. So what happens, what happens is uh, I've done it. Lots of people do it. I hear it every day. Um, and I even tell people not to do it, and they come back a week later like, I did it. Um, they'll be in Plankerton. They'll be down here in Plank, and they'll be so close to leaving, or they think they're so close to leaving. They're like, crap, I have all of this Malachite that I found randomly from Storm Chests and from playing high-level Plank, and and let me just make a gun. I'll evolve it so I can use the, the Malachite, and then I'll be out of Plankerton, and then I'll be able to farm it, right? Oh, nope, gun breaks, and they're still stuck in Plankerton, and they can't make their gun because Malachite's a three-star material. So, honestly, you don't need to out-level your weapon out of your zone. You'd never need to. Even if you feel like you can do it, it's up to you. But what happens is then you can't use your gun until you get to blanker 10 or to the next zone. So, same thing with Candy. If you've got a three-star weapon and you feel like you've got enough Shadow Shards or Obsidians, um, or you've traded and you have a bunch, but you're in low Candy, um, don't... Don't do it. Don't don't make it a four star. If you're in the one star zone, first zone, one star items. Second zone, two star items. Third zone, three star items. Four zone, four star items. That is probably the biggest tip right now. There was a lot of other tips back in the day, but the game has changed so much that the other tips are kind of irrelevant. The collection book was another big tip that if you put something in the collection book, it's gone forever. That's still kind of a tip. So if you put something in the collection book, it's gone forever. The difference now is um, you can now unslot it for for 20 cents, for 20 V bucks, for 20 cents. You can pull it back out. Um, that's new. For the first almost the first full year, if you put something in your collection book, poof, gone. Okay, and we just sat here and we we're able to look at it. Like whoops. Um, so there's that. There's um, there's a few more things. Uh, I'll do another video. I'm gonna keep this one short. That's the biggest tip I can give anybody is the star rating concept of the game. Uh, I'll make another video here uh, in the next day or two just going over the basics of how you level your skill points that you earn, um, just all the different XPs that you're getting just so people have, because it doesn't really explain it right off the bat. If you're already in Canny and you're halfway done with Plank or Tin, um, you probably already understand all of it, but um, I'll try to make a, I don't know, a five minute video really quick on just that. And that'll be the two biggest, biggest tip videos I got for new players, so that should be out uh, tomorrow, tomorrow. Um, if you got any other questions, swing by the stream. We stream daily over at twitch.tv slash slygumby. Uh, link will be in the description below. We're live usually 8 p.m. to 2 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. That's West Coast United States, PST. Um, yeah. yeah, yeah, we joke around, we play a lot, we goof, we, uh, we talk crap, uh, we test things, answer questions. Uh, if you've got dumb questions, I'll make fun of you, but I'll answer it in the same process. If you can handle it and stick around, you're one of us. If you can't, then uh, it's the wrong place. Anyways, I'm out. Catch you all in the next one. Bye-bye now.